What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today I am in my kitchen. As you can see, I'm in a different background, different environment today. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing in the kitchen? Well, I am so excited because I got a new coffee machine. And I don't actually remember, I've had this coffee machine for a while. I don't remember if I've shown this to you on the vlogs or not. Yeah, the coffee machine is awesome. I used to use one of those ones with the pods and I just got so fed up. You get so much waste with those pods. And then the plastic lids that they have on them, they're not recyclable, so you gotta make sure you take them off and then out. So I'm just using pure coffee now. No pods, no plastic little things, no sachets involved. And I have to say, since I switched to this coffee machine, coffee life has been amazing. <laughs> but yeah, let me just show you the coffee machine. I also got a new coffee bean grinder and I'll explain the story as to why I got the grinder as well because uh, let's just say it makes life so much easier. <laughs> okay, so this is the coffee machine I got. This is a DeLonghi machine. You've got the coffee, you just put the coffee in there and here it's got um, a milk frother as well so you can steam the milk and froth the milk. As you can see it gives you hot milk and you've got the option for cappuccino. Here I got a coffee bean grinder. This one's made by Krups. I'm gonna show you what the machines are like when they're in use and gonna to put together some B-roll clips of the coffee machines in use and how I make the coffee step by step. Here's the coffee I got. So this is a Starbucks blonde roast. The reason I got the uh, blonde roast uh, is because it's a lot milder than the standard coffee you get. And this is just pure coffee beans, whole bean coffee. They do have ground coffee, but I just I ran into a really odd situation and that's why I ended up getting the crops. So that's my little coffee setup and oh yeah I've got these as well because I like lattes and stuff but I got some caramel syrup and vanilla syrup. These are my two favourites. So basically the ground version of the blonde roast from Starbucks and Starbucks is my favorite coffee. So if anyone knows of any other coffees, um, from different manufacturers, for example, that has the same kind of taste, um, you know, the lightness to the coffee, because I don't like strong, strong coffee, but anything similar to the Blonde Roast, do recommend it in the comments down below. So yeah, I ended up, strangely enough, finding this particular coffee that I want on Curry's website. So I ordered it online. It was great, it was free delivery, it cost about £3.50, it was fantastic. Got it a couple times and now I ran out of coffee and I was like, okay, gotta find it again. So I went online, went to buy it. The price went up to, I think it was like 3.75 now. And then they were charging four pounds for delivery. So I was like, <laughs> okay, there's more delivery than there is for the coffee. I'm gonna have to do something else now. So first of all, what you're gonna find is when you're looking for coffee grinders, there are two types of coffee grinders you can buy. The first one is literally just a blade inside. And all that does is it's gonna chop up the coffee beans. And that's not really what you want. So this Krups coffee grinder, this one is not a blade one. This one and many others like it, they are a burr coffee grinder. Now, as you can see, there's no blades on here. Um, what this one actually does is actually literally grind the coffee. As you can see inside, and excuse all the coffee in there, there's no actual blade inside. So this one actually is purely grinding the coffee beans. And that's what you want. You don't want to have the coffee beans chopped up inside. So when you're ready, you just pop the coffee beans in there. Since I did this with the coffee beans being ground and then straight to the espresso, as opposed to the ground coffee into the espresso machine, there's such a big taste difference. It's like, wow. But it's, it tastes amazing. It really does. Like you can really taste the coffee. And I'm so glad I did it. I'm really so glad I did it. And this way I can buy it from the supermarkets. So it's even cheaper. So to me, that coffee grinder is a pretty big investment considering how much coffee I drink in a week. You want to see how the coffee's made? Here comes the B-roll. And uh, before you see it, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the setup. Maybe you want to share your thoughts and tell me what you use to make your coffee. Yeah.